so most people who train um, train because they have a certain goal in mind. I want to lose weight, I want to gain weight, I want to gain muscle, I want to get tone, um, or I just want to be fit. So everyone knows you have to train to get those things, but you also have to have the right food. So you have to have the right diet as well. And this is where, you know, they go hand in hand. You can't get where you want without a clean enough diet, um, depending on your goal, so, I suppose. Um, so everyone tries to keep the same diet. It's kind of out in, it's out there in the press or in the media that, you know, these foods are superfoods and, and this is what you should be eating and everyone kind of follows that. And it doesn't do any harm. It's just it impedes your progress because it's not this specific food you should be eating for your uh, certain body type. Um, there's three main body types. They're called soma types, but there's three body types. The first one is ectomorph. Second is endomorph. The third is mesomorph. And I'll explain what those are in a minute, but just so you know that those are the three body types and everyone's different. So if you have to know your body type because if you don't know your body type, you don't know what to eat, you don't know when to eat, you don't know how to train, you don't know how much to train, you don't know the frequency of how much you have to be training. So once you know your body type, you're it's like opening the door, filling up the car and driving off because you, you, you've got everything you need to know. So that's what this video is going to be. Tomorrow, I know I said I'd do the girls video today, but I, th I thought, well, if they know, if everyone gets their body type by watching this video, then I'll go into the tips because knowing your body type is the most important thing. So if you're watching this video now in your room or if anywhere you have a mirror really, if you have a mirror in your room or your house, go down to it and look at yourself and examine it. If, you're, if you see long, lanky limbs, you're kind of tall, you don't have much to give. You know, you, your, your legs are long and lean and your arms are long and skinny. Um, you're an ectomorph. So your body isn't accustomed to having a lot of weight on it. So an ectomorph, a famous ectomorph, could be someone who plays basketball and professionally they're tall, they don't have a lot of mass. Um, and uh, they're, they're, they're just used to having little weight to carry around their body. They're built to have, to function on carrying and being as light as possible. Marathon runners, Elliot Kipchoge, the world's greatest runner, Mo Farah, he's, they are ectomorphs. Uh, you do, you can be tall and be an ectomorph, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Um, Mo Farah is a great example of an ectomorph. Um, uh, like I said, Elia Kipchoge as well. Um, so they're always, you know, working what their body dictates. And, you know, you can change your body type. You know, not, people who are ectomorphs can be bigger and they can carry more weight. But to get there, they have to train like the other body type they want to be. So if you're an ectomorph and you want to be a mesomorph, you have to train like a mesomorph. You can't train like an ectomorph. So that's the first body type, an ectomorph. The second body type is an endomorph. So an endomorph, if you're looking in the mirror and you see yourself, you've got broad shoulders, boy or girl. This, this applies to girls and boys, obviously. There's no set gender. If you're looking in the mirror and you have broad shoulders or you have wide hips is a big feature. If you have wide hips or you've got weight in your legs and your, and your glutes and some on your arms, and mostly your shoulders, then you're an endomorph. Endomorphs kind of get a bad reputation because people, when you associate wide hips, broad shoulders, you look at people who are obese, which is just, it's not it's not really fair because there's endomorphs that are athletes. If you look in the UFC or boxing, you know, Tyson Fury, he's a big uh, uh, endomorph. You know, uh, Andy Ruiz, he's a big endomorph. Um, they're just meant to carry weight. Your body is designed to be carrying weight and it's in an unnatural state when it's not carrying weight. Um, that's not to say you can change it. If you want to change it, that's fine, but it's not your natural state. You were built and designed by your genes and DNA to carry weight. Your shoulders are built this way. Your, your wide hips, you're never going to change if you have wide hips or not. Even if you drop you know three stone in weight your hips are going to be wide it's just the fat on your waist will reduce but your hips will always be wide because you, they're a bone you can't decrease the size of a bone um 
So those are endomorphs. Typically, like ectomorphs, everyone thinks end, uh, endomorphs are small, because ectomorphs are tall and skinny, and endomorphs are small and round. Not really true. I mean, you can be six foot and kind of just meant to be, you know, a bit of bulk on you. Um, so that's what endomorphs are. They've got size to them, and they just find it more comfortable to be big, you know, it's just the way they go. And finally we have mesomorphs, which is, uh, if you're into fitness and you're a fitness freak, and you're looking at your Instagram models like Rob Lipset, um, I'm not too sure about any female uh, influencers, I'm not one, but I'm sure you, the girls know some. They are mesomorphs. Mesomorphs are what people want to be if they're into aesthetics, which is aesthetics means you know, abs, chest, veins, you know, just beach body is what really a mesomorph is. Um, they're just like the perfect creation of a human if you took them and sculpt them, you know, like these Greek god, you know, these Greek mythology paintings we see, those are all mesomorphs. They're like the perfect balance of an endomorph and uh, ectomorph. They're right in the middle. They have just amount, just the right amount of size, but not too much uh, where they're into the endomorph section, but just enough, you know, uh, lean muscle so that they're not ectomorph, they're not skinny, they're not fat, they're just right in the middle. So um, there's multiple training plans that they can do and they can cross over into ectomorph or endomorph if they want, they can be skinny if they want and they can be big if they want, it's easier for them to get there. So now that we've covered the three somotypes or body types, um, it's how do you use them. So you've now identified yourself, if you looked in the mirror, you've identified either you're an ecto, and or meso. Um, so now it's what do I do? I know what I am, so how do I go about it now? So um, endomorphs, like I said, they're meant to carry weight. They're designed so they have a bit of substance to them. So they naturally find it harder to lose weight. They naturally find it hard to lose fat. You know, they they can do as much cardio as they want, but it's just not it's just not clicking as fast as someone as a mesomorph. And this is where a lot of people get frustrated because if you didn't know your body type and you're sitting going, oh, how's she getting like or how's he or she like look how much weight she's lost in the past month or two and look at me, I'm just not I am I'm eating the same foods as her. I'm training more than her and I'm not getting any fat loss and look at her or look at him and and it's it's frustrating if you don't know it because you you look at other people and you're like look at their progress and look at mine and then you kind of fall into the trap where you're just like oh well this isn't going to work I can't do it I'm just not going to bother anymore because anything I do it's just not not working this is why it's so important to know your body type so that you know how to train. So forget about ectomorphs if you're an endomorph. Forget about people who are skinny. Train on yourself so that you know what to do. So endomorphs, if you're finding it hard to lose fat, there are training plans and diet diet plans for you to follow. So if you're an endomorph, so without getting too boring or sciencey, I'm just gonna break it down simply for you. And you can, if you want more information, just type it up on Google, you know, literally just type it in. If I'm an ectomorph, give me some foods that I can eat. If I'm an endomorph, give me some foods I can eat. If I'm a mesomorph, I'll list some. And if you don't like the sound of them, you can go on Google and you can look up more ones that are to your taste. Um, so for endomorphs, you're going to want to eat less. You're going to train more. Um, your main training is going to be cardio. With a, with a, that's not to say there's going to be no weight training or resistance training. There will be weight training and resistance training, but cardio is going to be your best bet because you want to lose that fat, that stubborn fat on your stomach or hips or face or whatever. So for endomorphs, it's going to be high cardio and weights and resistance. Resistance is just weights and press-ups or whatever. For ectomorphs, you're going to have less cardio because you don't want to, you know, you don't want to keep you don't want to strip any more fat than you have to because you don't have a lot. Um, so you're going to do less cardio and more resistance training. You're going to do more weight training and resistance training than endos because you want to gain size. 
And if you are doing weight training and resistance training, do it as heavy as you can. So if you have weights, try and get as heavy weights as you can. And if you don't have weights, just do as much presses as you can. Go until, you know, you can't push yourself up anymore. Um, do setups until you can't get yourself up anymore. So if you don't have weights, get some maybe bands or you can look them up on the internet, maybe some resistance bands or some light uh, or heavy uh, dumbbells, whichever one you prefer. So yeah, to sum up back though, less cardio, more weight slash resistance training and more food, eat as much as you can, whereas endos kind of have to cut back what they're eating. And then Maso's just in the middle. You can hop over to endomorph if you want, you can hop over to ectomorph if you want, or, uh, and I mean, by ectomorph and meso, I mean the principles. You don't really wanna, if you wanna be, have some size and be ripped, then train like uh, an endomorph with the high cardio and you know less food, so you strip away that fat and your muscle shows. Or if you wanna gain size to get bigger, like in bulking season in the winter, train like an ectomorph, less cardio, more food and weight. So that's it's really simple. If you want, if you're a mesomorph. You can either train like an endomorph, train like an ectomorph. Like I said, you know how they train. If you're an endomorph, more cardio, less food, and just more exercise in general. And if you're an ecto, less cardio, heavy as you can training, like as heavy weights or as much uh, press ups and stuff you can do, and uh, a lot more food. And then meso, you can hop either or. If you want to strip the fat, train like an ecto, or again, fat, muscle. Uh, oh, if you want to strip fat, train like a, a train like an endo. I'm sorry, train like an endo if you want to strip fat, and if you want to gain fat and muscle, train like an endo. So to wrap up, um, that's all there really is. I, I I don't really want to bore you with like proper full me plans because not everyone's gonna like the sound of their me plans. And if you if you're stuck for a me plan, you can message me and say what type of food should I eat, uh, or, or if you don't, just you can just look up. It's really, really easy. This is what I do when I started out. I simply just looked up what foods to eat. You know, Google is going to give you right answers. So if you're stuck for foods to eat, just simply what food should an ectomorph eat. If you've looked yourself in the mirror, if you've identified yourself as an ectomorph, look up what food should I eat. If you're an endo, what food should I eat? Um, if you're a mazo, you can take your pick, really. <laughs> you can take your pick between either. That's how lucky you are. So yeah, and I want to reiterate as well, there's nothing wrong with the way you're built. If you're an endomorph, there's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I'm just saying this is what they're built like. I'm not, you know, being mean about this is what they look like. That's what you look like. There's nothing wrong with that. And if you're a meso, great. If you're an ecto, great. It's like, it's, if you're happy with yourself, then this is, that's fine. This is only for people who want to change the way they look. So don't be too hard on yourself about the way you look just you know if you if you if you like the way you look then that's fine but if you want to change how you look then this is the way to go because you need to know your body type in order to get to another body type otherwise you're going to be wondering about and you're going to be lost really so again if you want a diet plan you can either ask me for some foods to eat or you can simply google it what food should i eat as an ectomorph it'll give you at least 12 bullet points on what to eat uh, for each body type and uh, like I said the training the principles are there just follow them uh, like I said you can skip back for them so yeah it's all about really it's all about just being happy in your own body if you don't have to change if you don't want to this video was just made for people who do want to change so um, yeah that's pretty much it if you have any questions you can ask me on snapchat or on uh, in the comments I don't really mind and um, yeah, this now that we've identified our body types to the people watching, tomorrow I can go into the actual training and how to do it. So I said, you know, train more, eat less. Tomorrow I'll actually do the videos. I'll do the exercises. Um, I can't show you the diet because not everyone likes the same food. So you're going to have to maybe look up the diet or ask me what you like and I can maybe think of some alternatives. But for the training, I can be specific. So for tomorrow, I will do girls' video first because uh, I feel like they, you know, not to knock them or anything. It's just they maybe they're just not as into fitness and, and stuff as, as boys are, and they kind of need a bit more assistance. Just like we have no idea what I what's contouring. I have no idea what that is. What what the fuck is that? I have no idea what that is. 
So, yeah, I'll start with the girls first because they probably need to know more. So tomorrow I'll do a training. Like probably I'll show you some exercises. I'll show you how to do them, and then I'll do it for the boys as well. So yeah, this was just identifying your body type, knowing where you are, and then we can go forward on how to train based on what you are. So thanks. I I got a good um, I got a good response from my last video. So yeah. Uh, people were asking about my rings and I got all insecure so I took this one off today so I wouldn't look like Al Ali G or something so uh, yeah um, that's pretty much it I'm pretty much finished now and let me know what you think and uh, hopefully you've identified what type of body type you are and if you're still confused don't be afraid to ask me and tomorrow we'll be going into training and how to actually get where you are so thanks